Good morning brothers and sisters and welcome to our fourth part of the uh, scriptures the chronicles of the children of Aranak and today we're looking at chapter 4 the mighty vision so let us start with a word of prayer loving creator God we thank you for this time that we can come together to study some scriptures Lord as we study the chronicles of the children of Aranak as we read open our hearts and mind that we can get something of you from these scriptures Lord and uh, we pray for all those that are in need today uh, we pray for the elderly we pay for for people uh, that are struggling with wars and have lost lost loved ones we pray for them and their family and i pray these things in jesus christ's name amen so here we go with chapter four the mighty vision behold the people of aranak journeyed westwards for many years and sharanak and hajanak had many children even thirty between them. Behold, Sharanak and Hajanak, in the one hundred and fifty years, gathered the people together by the shores of the sea in the land westward and told them that the Lord had commanded them to gather together one thousand logs from the trees of the forest that was round about them. So the prophet Aranak did accordingly to the will of the Lord. And many days passed, and many of Aranak's Aranak stood before the prophet of Sharanak and his mouthpiece Hajanak and demanded to know why the children had done such a hard labour. And as they were murmuring and crying, a man by the name of Nika, who was the chief builder among the people, stood before the people and said, Let us take those logs and throw them into the sea, and then let our anger be kindled towards Sharanak and Hajana, for they have worked worked us without explanation now surely we would have been better off with Lionak and his seed behold Nika was speaking to the people in a voice from heaven sounded as if it were a great thunder rolling across the sky and the voice said, Behold my people, listen to the words of my prophet, for he is ordained by me, the Lord Almighty God. Behold, his words are my words, and when my prophet speaks, it is as if I have spoken. And he com commanded that the one thousand logs be cut, it is as if I have commanded it to be done. Now because of your wickedness and evil desires of your heart, you will be cut one, cut not one thousand logs, but you will now cut two thousand logs. Behold, when you have done this, you shall bring them before Sharanat and his mouthpiece, Hajanat, and then I will forgive this outcry and disobedience. Now, when the Lord had spoken, the people fell to their knees and cried unto heaven for forgiveness. And so it was that when the people cried out, heaven, a voice came again from heaven unto the people, and it was the voice of the Lord saying, 
Why are you kneeling and asking for forgiveness? Have I not already commanded you to go about your business and then I will forgive you? After the people of Aranak heard the voice from above, even the voice of the Saviour, they did go to work collecting the logs that had been commanded of them. Now the people worked hard and even their children did labour hard. Behold, the truth day of their labours, they brought the logs before the prophet Sharonat and the people did give praise to the Most High God. Now when the people had finished their praising and their singing, the prophet Sharonat stood before the people and he looked upon the labours, and he did give thanks in his heart unto the people. Now Sharanak and Hajanat went before the Lord in private prayer, and they did ask with one voice what the people should do with their labours. And so it was that Sharanak and Hajanat were in prayer, the Lord sent unto them an angel, and he did hold in one hand a sphere or a bull, and in the other hand a, a mitre, and upon the mitre was written, I, the Lord, am great, fuller in my footsteps, and I will lead you to the land, and I will promise you. Now when Hajanak saw the the mitre, he held out his hand, and if to take hold of the mitre, but the Lord forbade him, and the angel spoke to Hazanak, saying, Your brother Sharanak is the Lord's anointed, and it is he that is to be given, for you are, you are his mouthpiece, and he is your prophet. And now the angel called Sharon up forth and placed in his hand the mitre, and in the other hand the angel placed the sphere and ball. And Sharon up took hold of the object. He was filled with the, the spirit, and he knew straight away what the, the purpose were. Behold, Sharonat was mighty in spirit, and the gift of revelation came, came upon him as easy as Rasna came upon the glass. Now the angel moved forward and, and stand beside Sharonat, and he began to instruct Sharonat and Hajanat so they would know how to use the mitre and spear. And sphere. The angel opened a vision of Sharanak and Hajanak, and the vision saw many ships upon the waters, and that the angel told Sharanak that the ships would carry people to the land that the Lord had promised. Now the angel instructed Hajanak in the ways of building the ships, and he commanded Hajanak that the ships must be the length of 100 metres sticks and this must be done according to the word of God and must be no more or less. And the angel commanded Hazanat that the depth of the ship must be 50 metres sticks and no more or less. The angel then showed Sharanak, how the bull and spear must be used. The angel told Sharanak that the outer bull was to guide the ships during the light and the inner bull was to guide them during the darkness. Now the angel continued to tell Sharanak until Hajanak many great things, but I have been commanded not to write them down here, but to write them on the plates that deal with our religion. 
When Sharanak and Hajanat had been instructed by the angel, they fell to the earth and they lay there for the space of three days and the people became troubled and they supposed that Sharanak and Hajanat were dead. Now behold, they began to be a great turmoil among the people and some believed that God had abandoned them and there stood one man whose name was of Shiblon and he was the chief captain for he was the son of Shiblon and he stood before the people and cried unto them and told them to repent of their unfaithfulness for he knew that the Lord would not abandon his people and Shibla Shiblon went to the tent of the prophet and his mouthpiece and when he heard the entire when he entered the tent he saw great light as if it were a pillar of fire surrounded Sharanak and Hajanat but Shiblon began to tell the mighty man was not afraid and behold Shiblon took hold of the prophet and as he did he was filled with the Spirit of God, and he saw before him his eyes angels, and the angels st spoke to Shiblon, saying, My name is Jonathan, and I have been sent unto the prophet to guide him, to teach him, and you, my brother, must protect him and his mouthpiece, for this is the will of Almighty. When the angel had spoken the words, the pillar of light went out, vanishing along with the angel. And when the light had gone, Sharanak and Hajanak awoke and set up and embraced each other, for they had seen the hills and the monuments of the lands, and they had seen they had seen the villages and the lakes and the animals and they had seen children children's future and their children's children's future. Now when Hajanak and Sharanak also stood and Sharanak went out of his tent and went before the people and the people did rejoice for their prophet was alive and behold Hajanak spoke unto the people and said the Lord has shown us and told us the things that we must do to cross this great water out of the logs that we have gathered we must build ships so that we can we can sail across the water to the land that the Lord has promised us and that there will be built a great and mighty nation. So that's the end of chapter 4 and we see that the people did rebel against them when um, God asked them to gather logs, uh, chop down trees and do some work for the Lord. So they were working for the Lord but they didn't know what they were doing it for, so so they did rebel. And then God said to them, if you do this work for me, I will forgive you. But the people did bow down and ask for forgiveness. And God did ask, why did you bow down when I've already said that I will forgive you if you build? Uh, and then the angels came down upon them and uh, spoke to them and gave them the mitre and the sphere. Uh, this was later to be found to help for navigation. And uh, we see Shiblon again, the ca captain, was asked to protect the two, the prophet and his mouthpiece. So let's finish off and have a prayer. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for this scripture, the Chronicles of the Children of Aranak, which they use in the restored branch. Uh, here in Derbyshire, actually, yeah, with Matthew Grill, who translated these things. We thank you for that church and we thank you for him. And I say these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.